the Insider 24-7 News Update. What really transpired at the Nairobi Festival 2020, the unfortunate events that unfolded at Nifest on November 7, 2020 have continued to haunt actress Bridget, forcing her to issue a statement addressing the same. What are the nightmares that have paint on that date? Here at the Insider 24-7 we unfolds every frame that took place, let's have a look. The Nye Fest was supposed to be attended by several artists who were set to perform including Ria Kato Banks who is a Nigerian artist, however, Ria Kato Banks who was to be the main act didn't get a chance to perform due to curfew time issues, no no no, that was according to the statement issued by Bridget. New fresh details have emerged that Ria Kato Banks was not paid the remaining 500,000 Kenyan shillings, that aside, several reports of thefts, fights and even assaults were reported after the event. One famous teen by the name Shaq became a victim as he was lured by one taxi driver to board his car only for him to rob and beaten. He immediately released a video via his Instagram page explaining how everything happened and how insecure the event was, but all those are not the main agenda of today. The question is who killed the 17-year-old Form 3 student popularly known as Shanti? Don't move aside. Subscribe, like and let's dig deeper. Shanti attended the Nye Fest which was on the 7th of November and his whereabouts were unknown which left the friends and family searching for him. On 14th of November his body was found dead at City Mortuary beaten to death. The beating was a result of a scuffle between him and the bouncers before being taken to Melchizedek Hospital where he succumbed to the beatings on arrival. What? Did I just mention beaten by the bouncers? Yes, the bouncers. It doesn't really add up. Let's dig more deeper. The Insider 24-7 unfold. From details received on our table. Shanti got into an argument with other youths within to an extent of beating one of them a blow, on the intervention from the bouncers. The bouncers never sought to know what really transpired in between before Shanti was forced to respond a heated argument with a blow. The merciless bouncers roughed him up like a thief dragging him on ground like trash. The first respondent at the scene narrated she tried calling the emergency number 911 about 9.30 p.m. in which Shanti's heartbeat pulse was live but so low. The police emergency team arrived and dispersed people surrounding the scene. Despite all the possible ways to save the life of the young Shanti, he died on arrival at the Melchizedek Hospital. What did the Bridget Foundation had to say? Well... The former socialite and the event's CEO Bridget has taken to her Instagram to respond to claims that her team was responsible for Shanti's death. According to her, these claims are false and only meant to bring her down. She however, acknowledged that her team only rescued an injured boy and took him to hospital for treatment. Supporting her claim, she said that the boy was alive when they took him to the said hospital and that the CCTV footage can attest to that. Bridget noted that detectives from the Directorate of Criminal Investigation, DCI, Dagoretti Branch have commenced investigations into allegations that one person died at the festival. We as the Nyfest fraternity are greatly saddened by what occurred on November 7, 2020. This was during the event we successfully hosted at Gong Racecourse Nairobi. We have taken note of the various unfortunate events that happened during and after the event. We stayed in no uncertain terms. It is deeply regrettable. Currently, we have commenced investigations in conjunction with the DCI Dagoretti in an attempt to ascertain the crimes that were allegedly committed on the said date. From the Insider 24-7, rest in peace Shami. The Insider 24-7, beyond the lead. Subscribe to get more updates.